As 2022 comes to a close, I always like to look back on the previous year and the technologies that I thought I was going to be using and learning if I actually ended up using and learning those or if I did something totally different and then look forward into the future in 2023. What do I think I'm going to be learning this year? What is exciting in tech for me and all that fun stuff? Here's a list of things that I used in 2021 that I figured I'd just continue using. Starting off at the top, we have Tailwind. I stopped using Chakra and I still never picked back Chakra back up. I am fully converted into Tailwind and using it for every project and I'm very happy with it. Urkel is the GraphQL client I've been using. Still didn't pick up Apollo, still using Urkel. There's some things that irk me about Urkel, but I have uh, continued to use it and I am relatively happy with it. Of course, you know, I'm still using React, still using TypeScript, PostgreSQL is still there. Uh, funny enough, Prisma 2, I actually migrated off of this year. I really, really like Prisma 2 for the interface, like calling queries, executing stuff very good. The one problem I've always had with it is it generates disgusting looking SQL and it will sometimes send three SQL statements when it really should only send one. Um, so I ended up just like kind of copying the interface and creating my own tool because I only really use Prisma 2 for CRUD operations, create, read, update, delete. So all I really needed to do was create my own interfaces for doing where clauses that follows the same interface as Prisma 2, and then bam, I can now do SQL statements that really should be only one, and it works smoothly. React Native, I actually did not use in 2022 at all, but I'm still a fan of it, and I see myself using this uh, in the next year for sure. VS Code, I did not switch back to using Vim or anything, still on VS Code, still loving it, very happy with it. Um, and I'm still using the Vim extension inside of VS Code. And am I even using any new extensions? I don't think so. I think I just like, I've been using VS Code the same this year. Uh, am I still on AWS? Yes, I don't use it much, but I use like S3 right now and stuff. And then Solidity, I did not touch in 2022 at all. I, uh, yeah, I lost total interest in blockchain. Just, I thought I had to touch it at some point. I was like kind of getting fomo because the, the tech was hot and it looked interesting. Uh, but then when it crashed, it's like there goes all the interest and I did not touch it. All right, so these are the things that I was planning to learn in 2022. The first was animations. This one actually happened. So I use a library called Framer Motion to use a lot of like micro interactions I'd create and like different things for Void Pet, which is the game that I'm working on. Uh, so this happened, had a lot of fun doing that, and uh, it's not something I normally do, so I was happy. I did end up learning Unity. Uh, didn't do any other game dev like thing, like uh, Unreal Engine or Godot or whatever it's called. Uh, Unity was one I tried. I actually enjoyed it a lot, especially because I'd been making a game in the browser, and so seeing how you can make it in Unity, a lot of things are easier, and a lot of things are a lot harder. Um, but I just made like something very basic. I didn't do a lot with it, but I enjoyed it. Will the Unity come back in 2023? I'm guessing no, but there's a chance. There's a small chance. Didn't touch Kubernetes, just didn't feel like it. I'm pushing this on to 2023 as Kubernetes is something that I will continue to learn. It looks interesting. I wanna learn purely for interest, not for like I actually think I need a Kubernetes deployment. Uh, Terraform, I actually did learn. This is how I'm currently deploying my Next.js to AWS and uh, Lambda functions, and I'll, I'll, if anyone's interested, I'll put a link of what I'm using Terraform for with Next.js, it's a whole little package. Uh, Turbo Repo, I did not use, I still wanna learn that, so I pushed that. Remix, uh, I actually did not learn either, and I don't feel like learning it. I've been like pretty happy in Next.js, and that's how I've been building all my stuff, and Remix is just like, hasn't enticed me enough to want to try it or switch over to it. So I'm not even going to bother trying to learn it in 2023, especially now it's been acquired. I've lost even more interest uh, in it. It got acquired by Shopify, I think. I'm happy with Next.js, going to just continue using that. Uh, like I said, smart contracts, don't care whether about them whatsoever anymore. It's just gone. Interest has faded. It's waned. Um, bye. All right, 2023. So, yeah, so all these things I still want to learn in 2023. Uh, Animation's still going to be doing some more of them and uh, working on, I don't know, making them look cool and stuff. Uh, TRPC is a kind of like a lightweight GraphQL thing. Compatible. It gives me the thing that I like about GraphQL, which is a, a type safe interface between the client and the server. Um, so this is a library that I will potentially, it's on top of my list to try when I have a new project that I want to work on that 
uh, I don't feel like using GraphQL, then this is the one I would be using. And you, it's like kind of a REST version of that. Uh, of course, the cliche bandwagon thing, of course I'm gonna be doing some AI like everyone else. Like not, there's no big surprise here. I personally actually really dislike tuning models or creating models. So I don't see myself downloading and tweaking these at all. Um, but if there's like a ready API that works very well, uh, you bet I'll call an API endpoint and use them. I may end up needing, if I get deep into a project, doing some custom AI. I just really hope I don't get there because it's so boring. I actually just hate iterating on it, but we'll see. Uh, next up is Cloudflare. I, I just think they're the cheapest and fastest providers for a lot of things now. Um, and so I just see myself using workers this year and also R2. R2 is the... S3 equivalent. I did some Shopify in the last year and I think I'm just gonna use it again. We're gonna be selling some plushies most likely for the game I'm working on. And this is just like good tech for selling things. And lastly, always been a fan. I don't wanna to touch Swift, don't wanna to touch Kotlin. It's just too much effort to build two apps out like that. And uh, React Native is getting quite good for a lot of different apps that you just, the opportunity cost is just too good. So that's pretty much my plans. Not too much stuff I really wanna learn in 2023. I'm kind of in the, the mode of life where I'm not spam learning things anymore and I'm just like very happy with this stack of like React, TypeScript, Postgres, SQL, and also Redis, I didn't put Redis here, but between those things, I can kind of build almost anything I want to and uh, it's very nice and quick. So that's been the stack I've been very happy with and wanna to continue to use. And that is the tech I'm learning in 2023. Hopefully we'll see what happens. We'll look back at it next year. Um, but let me know in the comments below, what do you think I should be learning? What are you gonna learn? I wanna hear what you guys are up to.